So they're locked in, they're ready to go, and Goes will get it first. Goes, he's playing with that custom Washington Redskins controller that the Washington Redskins organization themselves gave to him after he won that club championship. And not only did he win the Redskins club championship event, he went on to win the entire club champion. You see that Redskins logo on that controller. It's a nice controller, Scott. He went on, though, to win the entire club championship series with where all 32 teams' representatives got themselves in a single elimination tournament. And Ghost got himself a belt. And if he can make a run here in Ultimate League, win this Madden ball, he could join Michael Skimbo as the only other player in competitive Madden to have two belts and be the first to win two belts back-to-back -back in the same year. Setting up their audibles, a little sportsmanship there. You can do the audibles on the fly. That way, they're very customized. When they go through the game, they can get in and out of formations, key plays. None of that is stocked. It's all customized. Why don't you tell us about the playbooks? Yeah, in the playbooks, you're going to have Ghost rocking his West Coast. Very popular offensive playbook. That West Coast playbook with the Kansas City Chiefs defense. And Stevie J is a little bit unique. He runs that Houston Texans offensive playbook with that Baltimore Ravens defense. So goes, goes to the ground on first down to bring up a second and nine. Won't take him long to start slaying this rock around though, I'll tell you that much, Scott. He's a pass type player, one of the best passing attacks in the whole league. And Hill can't get a foot in bounds. Looked like he might have got one, but couldn't get the other one in. He's gonna bring up a third and nine. Talk about custom, the custom controller. You're saying audibles on the fly. How about that jersey Ghost is wearing? That's also a custom Redskins jersey that they gave to him. It's got his sure. last name, Spall. So Hassan Spall, a.k.a. Ghost, has got that custom Redskins jersey he's rocking. It's a nice jersey. Stevie J rocking the Noble, which is a eSports team that supports him. Shout out to Noble. And for Stevie J, he's rocking the Giants uniform. Big sack on third down. You also Fight need to remember boys. with him that he won Fight that Buccaneers me. Club Championship earlier in the season. And he's from Clearwater, Florida. Which they played Club Championships up in Orlando. Started at the Pro Bowl. Ended at the Super Bowl and goes one it all. Oh, gee. Fourth and 14 on his own 22 early on, Scott. We got a big play here. He's going to get some free yardage as it looks like Joey Bosa coming over with the encroachment. That's going to be a fourth and nine at the 27. And I'm with Stevie J. You talk about this aggressive pass rush, the coaching adjustments. On those fourth and very long situations, I'm on aggressive pass rush. Go ahead and get five yards back. I want to send the dogs. Get some pressure on the quarterback. And that's what he's going to do here on this fourth and nine. It's a big play here. Watch for the cover three. Drops all four back and he finds Hill. That's too much space on fourth down. Read by Hassan Spall from North Brunswick, New Jersey, 20 years old, AKA Ghost. He says that Ghost stands for gaming of Spall. Spall's gaming right now. With some big bucks and a lot of glory. First and 10, you saw those zones. Just bail out. Tyree Kill in the right spot to pick up the first down. Second and eight now. Talked about the balance of goes. He runs his bunch formation, West Coast playbook. Really likes to mix in the run with Herschel. And there's Tyree Kill again. This time gets its feet in bounds. That's that animation that sometimes will put the foot on the chalk, but this time he's in bounds. First down, plus territory at the 44. Yeah, Ghost is a master at running those PA posts in that corner strike play. Out of this gun bunch formation and has that outside wide receiver running that C route that makes it a high, easy high-low read. Watch for the cover, too. The, the problem with Ghost Pressed is we, up. we've seen him throw some interceptions on that route. Like you said, he, he doesn't read the cover too correctly. That cloud flats out there. Play works both ways. Mariota got to get rid of it. Ah, Somehow almost. throws it away. Almost, boys. Fortunate he got outside the plane, too. Could have been intentional grounding. No receivers in the area. Second and 10 now at the 44. Winner of this one. 
Beautiful play, Young Kiv. Number one seed. And a third and six. There's Young Kiv hanging out in the players round. You see Blocky in the back. Of course, those are the plaque, you know, they got practice con consoles back there where those guys can sharpen their skills. Skimbo back there, relaxed after his win. And I'm with Skimbo right there. We saw earlier, Kiv was just taking up that whole couch in the players' lounge. Skim wasn't having that. Blocky's, oh, Blocky's too nice of a guy. But Blocky, for Skim, you gotta be worried. Blocky's over there back there with the councils. He's getting ready for you. And there's Herschel Walker. Got some no space, way. got caught up on his own guy. And that allowed Ed Reed to catch up and make the tackle. Look at this again. Looked like he could have walked in, RG. And for Ghost, this is huge because you get stopped right there. You're going into the end zone, and you've had some struggles down here in the red zone. They were even joking with them back in the players' round earlier today that he has just not been able to convert when he's inside this five-yard line. He's been stopped on the one-yard line a lot this season. Looking, he knows looking, it. nothing there, rolling. Trying to use his feet and just slides down at the five. That wasn't a favorable spot. Second and goal. This Remember when you're the quarterback, you're sliding down. It's where the ball is when you give yourself up. And that was right there on the five. He's going to have some trouble here from the five two, Scott. I'm telling you, he's not been able to dial up much offense from this area of the field. Probably going to look for him to just hand this ball off right here. Little off tackle to the left. Hope he can get some blocks and just punch Stevie in the mouth. Herschel stretching it out. Can he, he get goes. a block? Can he get to the edge? Oh. No. Oh, my goodness. Time and time again, Goes has found himself on the one-yard line. He's had fourth and goal from the one at least a dozen times this season. Yeah, it's, it's, it's almost comical how consistent he finds himself in this situation. See if... Stevie run commits. He does. Got to get rid of it. Swings it outside to Herschel. Touchdown goes. What a play call by Ghost. You're having some trouble on the goal line. The run game hasn't been going for you on third down. You pass the ball out of goal line. Check it down to the flats. Come up with a big opening touchdown. Look at that play. Chris Harris Jr. was coming down on the run. Try to recover, but it was too late. And it's always scary to pass the ball in that type of situation. You, you never know if your quarterback's going to get sacked on that run commit. If your opponent doesn't run commit, you, you can get yourself in some trouble. But Ghost takes the risk, and it pays off right there. And in a big game like this, why not? you got to leave it all out there on the virtual gridiron. The season's on the line, Scott. Down by a touchdown. Why not a little Giants Redskins in the playoffs with the Ultimate League? Stevie J's got ties to the New York area. That Redskins organization, they showed a lot of support to go. Once he won that club championship and hoisted that belt and you know, brought the title of club champion back to Washington to those Redskins, they were tweeting at him. They stay in contact with him. They show him a ton of support. And that's awesome for Ghost because he's a diehard Redskins fan. So to get that type of interaction and support from your favorite NFL team, that, that's something special. Trying to do something special here, too, in the Ultimate League playoffs. He was geeked out at FedEx Field, I can tell you that. A little tempo here on second down. This is the formation. If you haven't seen Stevie play, this is where he makes his money in this tight slots formation. Up oh, top. No. Risky read right there by Stevie. Goes to the air TV. early, tries to catch Ghost off guard. He did the motion that he usually does when he runs that pitch play. Gave Ghost a passing look out of it, but Ghost ready. There's that pitch, play art. There's some movement up front. Going to cost him five yards. Going to be a third and five now from the 35. Yeah, and I saw him looking 
at the monitor next to me from Gosa's perspective. He was on that aggressive pass rush, but he just switched it to balance. Trying to help himself make sure he doesn't get drawn off sides here to give Stevie the free first down. Coaching adjustments are almost like a chess match. Trying to see what you can get away with. And Walker, he's going to be short of the first down. It's close. Oh, they he's got they gave it to him. Wow. And Goes can't believe it. It looked like he went down short of the 40. He got a favorable spot. And we're playing competitive mode. So if you're watching at home, you say, you throw the throw the challenge flag like there. That was big. Not the case. There's there's no variables in competitive play of Madden. It is what it is. Yeah, the way it's always the right call. Exactly. You said he said it exactly right, Scott. The game is programmed on competitive mode for there to be no mistakes. The game's gonna try to make the call correct the first time. Leave no room for error, so there is no challenges. Where if you're playing ten. like a simulation mode or yeah. an arcade mode, Come on. sometimes the call will be made wrong, and it's up to you to make that challenge, not something you got to deal with in this competitive style of Madden. And you know you're in competitive mode. You see that in the top left of your screen next to the second and ten, now it says comp. Right under that EA Sports, I let you know you're playing on the competitive game style. Pick it up. That's Come a ball ball ball. and somehow Jerry Rice. No. Is able to recover. Oh, first off there. Come on. Trailing by seven, but he's got a lot of things going his way. And for Stevie, one of the things he's done so well this year is scramble with his quarterback. Usually covers up the ball when he starts running with his quarterback to really decrease the fumble chance, but ran into his blocker that time, got out of the cover ball animation, and fortunate that Ghost didn't recover the fumble after the hit. End up picking up the first down on the fumble. Goes back to Herschel Walker. I thought Ghost did a good job last time these guys met as far as keeping the yards per carry reasonable for Stevie J. It was under four, I believe. No. No? <laughs> You're misremembering yeah. for train. Yeah, Come on! 7.3 7 7 yards per carry for wow. Stevie J last time these two met. Of course, he did run for 13.2 against Kibb, so that's half the number of that. <laughs> if you put it in that perspective, not bad, huh? Third and 13 is an obvious passing situation. I bring that up because the winner of this game will play young Kibb. Be interesting to know secretly in the back. No! Who he read the face, but right now, the young kid has been such a juggernaut, it might not matter. So bad. So bad. Yeah, Kib a monster. Kib had some trouble with Stevie J when they played. You want to talk about an offensive performance? Twice. Twice. I can't wait for the trilogy. If you see, if. To see the trilogy. Big if there, Scott. Stevie J's got to get it going here, trailing by a touchdown. Yeah, the first time, though, Stevie and Kiv played this season, Kiv set the ultimate league record for passing yards in the game. Well, Stevie set the record, demolished the record for rushing yards in the game. I think he ran for over 300 yards against Kiv. But yeah, 355. We get ahead of ourselves here. He still's got a lot of work to do against young Hassan Spall, a.k.a. Ghost. Herschel to the outside, and Amos will force him out of bounds at the nine. We talk about these five-minute quarters, Scott. Look at this. Only 2.30 left in the second quarter. Stevie J still on his first possession. And that's why sometimes you'll see these guys go for it so often on fourth down. Quick pass. Uh, Almost. A that had to be the double-A click. Definitely. Where you're trying, to, you're trying to snap it. You don't get the input, and all of a sudden you go, hey, hey. On the control, that's not good. That could have been devastating for Stevie J. Fortunate that it was just an incomplete pass. He's trying to quick snap pitch. him there. Comes the pitch, Scott. This is his money. This is his bread and butter. This is his bread and butter, Scott. The outside, no! Touchdown! There's his bread and butter, and bread and butter tastes good. Way to respond if you're Steven Javorowski, a.k.a. Stevie J. Giving the family and girlfriend back in Clearwater, Florida, a reason to get amped. He's back in the game. This is good playoff football, Scott. Just bread, just butter. That's it? Bread and butter is good. 
You don't like bread and butter? Then we're, we're toasting that bread, or? No, you know, like in a rest, a good restaurant when they bring oh, this yeah, up. Oh, okay. yeah. This is bread and butter right here. It's a touchdown. Good talking. bread and butter right there. We're not talking about sandwich bread. We're, you know, you're talking about the good, good bread. yeast roll. Like a good Italian Honey bread. Honey butter. Really. Yeah. All right, on. the good Who stuff. Who do you think you're dealing with? So we got a tie game now with 2.19 to go. First and 10 at the 22. That's where Goes will go to work. These guys so familiar with each other. Part of the same EMB crew. Yeah, they play a lot online. This isn't a situation, like you said, with two guys playing each other for the first time. Or these guys don't only play a lot online. I mean, these are guys that, when you're in the same crew, Scott, I mean, you're constantly in contact with these guys. You're in parties online, so you're talking on the regular. You're sharing strategies, sharing tactics. So it's going to be really hard for either one of these guys to catch the other one off guard. Both know exactly what the other player brings to the table. It's going to come down to execution and who wants it more. Second and ten. Over the middle, Marvin Harrison, the legend. Boy, did Peyton Manning find him a few thousand times. <laughs> this time it's Mariota that throws the strike. We love that about Ultimate League. You never in any other world do you get to see Marcus Mariota slang the rock to Marvin Harrison. But here in much salary cap and Ultimate Team in the Ultimate League, when players are in control of their rosters, that's the type of thing you get to see. Sack back at the 33. Yeah, yeah. Yannick. Yannick. Jacksonville Jaguar. Saxonville. Getting in there on the nine yard loss. You love that deep drop. Gives you some time. But if you can't get rid of it, detrimental. And the gun. In the flat, that's Delaney Walker. Don't call me Herschel. To the 43. DBJ with that wire control. We talk about Ghost's custom Redskins controller. Stevie plays with an awkward wire controller that's similar to Spotly's, but it's a, a bigger size. Usually these guys like those wireless controllers. Stay wired in, though, in competition. Little pit pick. stop. Oh, Can't afford man. to go on battery powered. It's a pick. Here's when the guap's on the line. Yeah, when the guap's on the line, you better bring the controller you're comfortable with. And you're allowed to do that in the sure. ultimate league. You can bring the controller that you use at home. We got a big fourth down here for Ghost. Fourth and nine. He converted one earlier. Can he do it again? I asked him about that controller. He said, uh, this is not my favorite control. I lost two other ones at tournaments. Which is unacceptable. He's like, I just happen to have this one. Oh, he's open. Hill will draw it in. Was, you know, we were asking about it. I'm waiting for some amazing story of, yeah, the green machine. I got the green machine controller here. Best luck. He just tells us some story. I mean, it's kind of like, cool story, bro. Yeah, like, said, no, he said, it's the last controller I got left. I want to stop. Spending all these money on controllers, but you know what? He, he's been good with it so far. Didn't give him the magic to get that fourth down stop right there, though. That would have been big for him against Ghost. Now Ghost continues to march downfield. Ghost Only just went over 2,300 passing yards for the season. He's now number one in the entire league. It's slinging the rock around the yard. I don't think I got 2,300 passing yards in all of Madden 18. It's hard to slam the rock in this game. No, oh, I'm way up there. I unlocked it. Yeah, you, Sean Taylor, you got solo challenges gotta, don't count, Scott. <laughs> head to head only. Yeah, you got to do it up online. Third and three. And the control is right there. And look how fast these guys make adjustments. You see Stevie J, each one of those clicks is an adjustment these guys are making on pre-play, whether they're changing a route, making shifting the line on defense, slide protecting the offensive Let's line. Go! That last Dialing up adjustment that Goes made was ID the mic. You saw him go left, left, picking up the pressure from the left side, but Jabril Preppers comes up the gut to make it a 
fourth and 18. And that's how advanced competitive Madden has got. There's mechanics where you can do any and every adjustment that you need to do pretty much. ID and the mic being one of them. Helps you pick up the pressure. You, there see, you see that? that M. M. Yep. On the left side. That's the tell his running back to pick up that up. Throws it to Hill. Nearly picked off and somehow Hill hold on. <laughs> Another fourth down conversion. Wow. Oh my gosh, if you're Stevie J, this is devastating. Fourth and 18, ice in his veins. Stevie clicks on, tries to make the play. But in a game of inches, he's just a few inches short. Sometimes in Madden, it's easier to get a fourth and 18 than it is a fourth and eight inches. There's another sack. sack. Push him all the way back to the 35. He's got two timeouts remaining. Edge of field goal range. Well, it's obvious that part of Stevie's game plan is to dial up this pressure and release the hound here on goals. He is blitzing heavy and pressure on this quarterback. How many times is he going to hit Tyreek Hill in that corner route? That's the Achilles heel of Ghost. We see him complete it many of times, but that's the route that's also got him in trouble. We've seen him throw a lot of bad interceptions when he falls in love with those deep outside corner routes. It's more of a C route than a straight up corner strike. Good lead. Good up to C to Grant, and he'll use a timeout. What a First way. and goal from the five. What a way to set up your opponent, huh? You're just attacking the sidelines, attacking the sidelines. As soon as you adjust to it, let me slang it up the seam. Possession catch, but this is where goes to struggle. He's in the five, Scott. He prevailed last time around. Can he keep it consistent? Is that off tackle? Walker, no. He used his final timeout. Now you, you could take a sack here. Doesn't take as long in Madden football to get the kicking unit out there. Yes, good point. These guys practice that. They need about six or seven seconds to get out there and kick it through. Still have to be careful with your ghost. Press coverage on the outside. Mariota. Low throw to Grant, and he holds on. Touchdown goes. Grant caught that. Way to come up big right there if you're Hassan's ball. He showed some emotion after that one, Scott. He knows that's a big touchdown before the end of the first half. It's up and it's good. Take a look at it again. Low throw. Crossing route. Able to dig it out for six. And if you're wondering how you see them use these low throw and high throw passes, that low throw mechanic, if you're wondering, you just hold the LB button when you're passing the ball and aim the left stick down in the direction you want to lead it in. I'll give you one of those throws with that low throw trajectory. And that's been a staple in a lot of these competitive players' offense, trying to throw that low ball that the defenders can't get to. And great example of it right there by Ghost to come up big before the end of the first half. If I'm Ghost, I'm back and at least my user up here. Oh, yeah, there you go. You see him? It backs him up a little bit, clicks off, and lets Amos make the play. And that's how the first half will come to a close. We got a good one. Here in the wild card round. Skimbo's already moved on. He'll face Blocky. Goes. And Stevie J seeing who's going to face young Kiv in the divisional round. Kiv in the back, hanging out, waiting to see is he going to be facing a running juggernaut or will it be the balanced attack of Goes who really been able to put it up through the air? Either way, there's going to be some fireworks in that divisional round. Well, we do Come get on. to see the trilogy on, of Raider. Skimbo and Blocky, that's for sure. Be up! Get a stop! Goes. Trying to get his guys to get one stop. He knows that's all he needs. Make it a two possession game and try to ride out this win. And he's calling for the stop, and interesting enough, talked about Stevie J's rush offense. He had the best rushing offense in all of Ultimate League, averaging 175 yards per game. But what we failed to mention is Ghost had the best rushing defense in all of the Ultimate League, only allowing 57 yards per game. So if anybody might be built to contain this rushing game with Stevie J, to spawn Hassan Spall, a.k.a. Ghost. Pitch to the outside, Good Herschel. Job. Good job. Can't get Let's away. Go. Good job. 
Derek Brooks was in there on the tackle. Legends everywhere. Mariota, three step, makes it seven. And he's going to take a sack. One stop. Back in the 42, Stanford on a loop of the loop. He gets Stevie where really Stevie done. doesn't want to be in these third and long type situations. He's come up big in this game already, but I don't know how consistently he'll be able to get himself out of this type of situation, Scott. It's a big play here. Watch for Ingram. That's his go to guy. To attack the middle of the field. He's gonna sling it outside and Jerry Rice. Incredible route running, the GOAT. Able to catch it for a first down. Look at Steve, he gives Ghost a taste of his own medicine. The GOAT, like you said, Jerry Rice on the outside, just a deep out route, good timing, good possession catch, good execution. Up He's top! Up. Sharp! Go. Touchdown, CBJ! Look at Ghost, hand in his face. And bringing some rush defense to the party goes well Stevie J says how about I bring a little pass offense goes up top for a big play and with both of these guys playing in the ultimate league playoffs with their seasons on the line neither one of them wants to budge this ball game's neck and neck that was Shannon Sharp the Baltimore Ravens version of the legend that somehow got free trying to recover was goes like he might have went for the interception animation. Well over his head. A little dot from Stevie. We haven't seen him go vertical often. But why not in the biggest game of your Madden career? Even better do it for a game time touchdown. Quick throw. There's Harrison again working his way across the middle. That'll be a first down out of the 44. These are the games you can expect when crew members or lab partners match up in these big games Scott it's usually fireworks comes down to who's gonna make that first big mistake and fail to capitalize or execute Let's go. Mm. looked like he wanted to go to Herschel Walker in the flat to the left he got caught up on the left tackle and the heat came too quick see Herschel can't get free there and Jabril Peppers is in the backfield here's the thing Scott these guys have been getting a lot of sacks on these early downs but still unable to turn them into a stop. At some point here, someone's gonna have to stand up for themselves on defense in these later second and third and fourth down plays. Whoever decides to do that most likely puts themselves in better position to win this ball game. Marvin takes it to the 48, to shy of the 50. Be a third and six. Everything's four down territory in the playoffs. Both these guys looking focused, composed. Even though there's a lot on the line. You can't think about it now. You just got to play the game. Ariota has a pocket. Looking, throwing, and Tyreek Hill catches it. Gets down at the 31. Didn't want to take the big hit. He goes. He's just so surgical. It's like the routes are moving in slow motion for him. He's constantly able to find the open man. And, we, and we've had guys like Skimbo and a lot of other top players say that he has one of the best passing attacks. Well, it was that crossing route by Marvin Harrison that made Stevie J's user pause for just a second, and Tyreek Hill came open on the second level. Yeah, and you need to be able to do those kind of things. People are too good for the, with their user defenders to allow them to just read you like a book and take away multiple routes. You need to get them to commit to something underneath and then hit him on that second level. And if they're guarding the second level, you got to check down underneath. So Marvin Harrison with another first down. Harrison's been huge in this game for Goes. Him and Tyreek Hill talked about him. That's two of his key players, and they've come up big here in the playoffs. Can you imagine having that receiving core in real life, <laughs> a prime Marvin Harrison with Tyreek Hill and all that speed? And there is Harrison again, this time at the five-yard line. Wow. And once again, Coase finds himself at that five-yard line, like you said, Scott. It's two for two so far in this game. He's had troubles earlier in the season, but so far, so good for him. First and goal from the five. 
tie ball game. Under two to go in the third. And Herschel fighting. Lost a few yards at the eight. It's going to bring up a second and goal. Larry is oh, picked no. off. Oh, Larry no. Wilson. And luckily, so Walker was right there so to make the tackle or it would have been a pick six. Oh, we talk about who's going to make the first mistake when you're familiar with your opponent. And Ghost budges first, throws the book. We talked about his struggles on the goal line. And now Stevie needs to capitalize. That's a huge turnover for Stevie J. But it doesn't mean much if he can't turn it into points. Coming up on a minute left in the third. Stevie trying to get points off the turnover, but he's well back at his own nine. We've seen that from Ghost all season. He'll attack those sidelines, have a lot of success. But every now and then he'll throw a pass to those sidelines that just doesn't And Mariota! Oh, gosh. Kicks it into high gear at the 44. I'm not sure he couldn't have turned that into six. And this is one thing I'm taking from Stevie's game. When you scramble with this quarterback, see how he's covering that ball? He's just holding the RB button, which is going to significantly decrease your fumble chance with that quarterback. And since in John Madden Ultimate Team Football, you don't have to worry about injuries, the risk is greatly minimized. And I, I think it's a little too overpowered, personally. If it's up to me, we, we're too forgiven for when the quarterback's holding that RB button. Needs to be liable to fumble at all times. I'll just drop an amen on that. Second and eight at the 47. But you can't blame Stevie. He's just playing the game that we give him, and his number one goal is to win the ball game, do whatever it takes, and you can't be mad at him. And he's on his way to winning this ball game if he can continue to keep this up. Yeah, don't get me wrong. It would be amazing to run 50 different plays and all these different ways of moving the ball down the field. But you're playing for 20,000. You're playing for 100 grand. You're going to do what gives you the best chance to get the dub. For sure. And, and you, you got to do what you've practiced as well, Scott. You can't go up against the dot by Stevie. Look at Sharp It'll making a difference. But you can't go up against a player like Ghost and just try to run something for the first time that, that you've never practiced. That's going to get you into trouble. So when people say, oh, these guys run a lot of the same plays, a lot of the same, it's because they run what they practice, what they're comfortable with, and what they're comfortable executing. And you might see the previous play that says, well, that was this passing play. They got literally 20 different variations of every passing play. And that's because of those pre-play adjustments we talked about when we showed you the, their hands with the controllers making all of those adjustments and do all kinds of hot routes. Mariota got caught up on his line. He was trying to scramble. Going to go tempo here on a third and 13. You need to be careful. Nope. Goes for the gun. Can't take a sack here, Scott. And that would push him out of field goal range. That clock is slowly tick, tick, ticking away. He's going to give him this pitch to the left with this motion. This is his bread and butter, like I like to tell you. Gets a block. Can't get away from Amos. Ed Reed also in there on the hit. If you're Stevie, you know what? At least you turn the turnover into points. That was the main goal. Yeah, it's, a, it's, it's literally a 10-point swing. I mean, Goes was going down there. He was about to punch it in, go up seven. Instead, you put a drive on. Come down here, you got to kick a 43-yarder. And it's right down the middle. Three-point game, 309. Goes is going to have the ball. Can you ask for anything more as a Madden player? Here goes to this is where you want to be. You got the ball in your hand in the fourth quarter. Pretty much a guap drive. This is where you need to execute. How about Stevie J? This is an underdog, a guy that nobody really believed in. 
He missed making the Madden Championship Final 32 tournament by one spot last year. Was ranked 33, fought through the adversity, continued to believe in himself. Full-time college student, could have quit. Three minutes away from advancing in these Ultimate League playoffs. Steady refocused himself, got back on the grind. It's in prime position here to move to the divisional rounds. That's where young Kiv is waiting. The winner of this one. 2.50 to go in the game. Mariota has Harrison again. Sure hands out at the 47. He's in plus territory with 2.40 to go. This Marvin Harrison is balling, Scott. Balling out of control for Mr. Spall, a.k.a. Go. So first and 10. Mariota again. Good playmaker to Grant. Grant's got space. Doesn't want to take the hit. That'll take it to the two-minute warning. Wow. If you're close, that's a big completion because it gets you in field goal range. So you're confident now, as long as you don't turn the ball over, you should be able to tie this game up, worst case scenario. But if it goes, you're hungry right now. You want to turn this drive into a touchdown, take this lead, and leave Stevie J minimal amount of time to be able to answer back. This is going to be a big and interesting two minutes of Madden football as you see young Kim looking on right there, Scott. Blocky chilling in the back. He's going to face Skimbo. Skimbo on the couch. But Kim's the one that's got a face. That's the cool thing about the players' lounge. They're back there talking shop, talking Madden. Sometimes they'll share a tip or two, and sometimes they'll get in your head. That's, but that's earlier in the season. We're in the playoffs <laughs> now, Scott. I, I guarantee you, it's not too friendly in that players' lounge right now. Stakes are high. They know it. Started the season. 16 players. Here in the Ultimate League. And guys are leaving the island every game now. Seven players left overall. Up top. Up top. And what a play by Larry Wilson. Controlled by Stevie J, able to knock this away. That's just the A high Larry wow. Wilson. He clicked on late. And he's a legend. Cost you a lot of cap. Big field goal here for Ghost Scott. Clicked on late and got away with it. Kick is up and we are tied. 117 to go. Stevie J's got two timeouts. You want to talk about the bread drive, the money drive, the guap drive. This is what we talk about when we talk about those. This is Stevie J getting the ball in the playoffs with a chance to go down and win this ball game. Let's go. Rip oh, my goodness. He's, He's on in his the horse. opening. Let's 30, go. 20, 10. Touchdown, Let's Stevie go, J. Man. Oh, man. What a sigh of relief from Stevie J. I'm over here talking about money, bread, and guap drive. Stevie says, slow it down with that drive stuff, G. I'll return the kick back for six. Go up seven with a minute 05 left in the fourth quarter. And leave it to Ghost to try to respond. Put it in perspective. That might have been a $7,500 yep. kick return. Both these guys already guaranteed themselves $12,500 for making it this far. That doesn't include the $1,000 they got for each win. Advancing to the next round gives you a guaranteed $20,000 on top of the $1,000 you made for each win. And look at this stick work. Whoop. And we've seen Repro. He's been a problem on special teams all season long. That's the legend from the Cowboys. And Mel Renfro. Look at that emotion of Stevie J. That's just a young man who's been through a lot. 
just leaving it all out on the line right now in these ultimate league playoffs. 59 seconds away from glory. First down, picks up the timeout. Needs a touchdown to tie. Could we have Stevie J and Young Kiv part three? The blueprint. Mariota. Low throw to Harrison again. It's been there all game. One timeout remaining. Marvin Harrison just continues to ball out for ghosts. You got to keep that timeout. That last one in your back pocket, RG. Need that security blanket. And there's some movement up front. That'll be five yards. That's big for goals. With only 54 seconds and one timeout, you'll take all the free yardage you can get right now. With your ultimate league season on the line, you're still trying to chase history, be the first to win consecutive belts in the same year. A lot on the line right now, Scott. Bunch to the left. Tyreek Hill is solo to the right. Rolls out with Mariota, and he'll throw it away. Stop the clock with 49 seconds left in this ball game. You know what? He, he looked like he had the, the crossing route from the B wide receiver open, but in this type of situation, better safe than sorry if you're close. No room for error here. Hill, toe taps at the 27. Laid out for the first and stops the clock, most importantly. Shotgun formation. Look, he got a throw and he gets six sacked. Sack. Clock's ticking. It's moving. When you see him not hurry up there, your, your thought is hurry up, hurry up. It's actually quicker to pick a new play than have some of those guys run back 40 yards. He's got Stevie stuck on the line. Oh, oh, that's a big sack. Duke Riley, his favorite player on the roster, makes a big play. And the underdog Duke Riley, why not go make a play for the underdog Steven Javorowski? And Herschel Walker lets him down on the pass protection. Steve. No timeouts. 25 seconds left at the 39. Needs to get in the end zone. 25 seconds away from all kinds of glory for Let's Stevie J. He's got it! it! He's got Stevie. it! Let's go! We're going to get the trilogy. Stevie J's going to face Young Kiv in the divisional round. Oh, man. See Go shaking it off. That's going to end his ultimate league season. He's got nothing to hold his head down about. He won, had a fantastic year, made a lot of money, got a lot of glory, won a belt. But the underdog story continues with Steven Javorowski, a.k.a. Stevie J, refuses to go away, refuses to stop fighting. And I love ultimate league playoffs, Scott. Gets it done on a long kick return by Mel Renfro that put him on top. And he's able to get the stops and goes. That'll be the end of his season. Was down there with a chance to do it. But once again, Stevie J standing strong with that Larry Wilson makes another interception. Let's go to Adrian Lawrence, who's standing by with both our great competitors. Thanks, Scott. Great competitors indeed. It was a real, real dogfight between you and Stevie J. Let me ask you, that fourth quarter, sacks, interception, wild, man. I just clutched up. Uh, yeah, that's, that's really all. I made the plays I needed to make in crunch time. And um, yeah, I'm just really happy to, to escape with the W. And you are now just one game away from the conference final. Dude, what's in your head? Just got to take it one play at a time and um, just keep playing well, keep making good decisions, making good adjustments. And um, yeah, I'm just really happy right now. <laughs> and you're moving on to face Young Kiv. What are you expecting? Another back and forth game like we had during the season. Um, I beat him the first game. He got me the second time. So it's time for the rubber match. All right. Well, best of luck and congrats again. And Ghost, you know, it's unfortunate your hunt for history in terms of back-to-back -back belts. It's now comes to an end. How do you think you played? 
Uh, I played pretty good. Um, the big, the biggest play of the game was the red zone pick, probably. And I've thrown that about like probably a thousand times, and I've never really thrown a pick on it. That was the first time I've ever seen it picked. Uh, he played good. Um, it was just a dogfight. That's all it was. And in terms of um, the Madden Ultimate League, what was your best memory? Uh, just repping the Redskins. I got to play for my family. Money doesn't hurt. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's all. Very cool. Well, congrats again.